one of the final gatekeepers has finally fallen. The ability to distribute your music video. Let's dive into it. Now we've all had the ability to upload to YouTube for the longest time, but then to make it available on places like iTunes and go for the TV push or hey, Amazon, Spotify support video. To get it in all of these places has been a lot harder. Well, the guys at DistroKid who made digital distribution far more easy to access for the independent artist have now come forward with DistroVid. What we're gonna do now is go through the process of getting your music on Apple Music, Amazon, Tidal, and more. I'm gonna show you the process that we would go through to distribute it and how it all works. To get to DistroVid, you can head over to distrokid.com forward slash DistroVid. Now DistroVid is part of DistroKid, the distribution service. If you're not already using that and are looking to distribute your music on all of the major platforms a price an independent artist can easily afford, there's a link in the description below for a discount off of your first year. As you can see up here, it says back to DistroKid and you can see I'm logged in with my account just here. And the very first thing we are presented with, it takes us to the My Video section and we are gonna look to upload our first video. And in Blue Peter fashion, I have one that I prepared earlier. Upload my first video. This is gonna ask us where we want to distribute it to. I want it to go everywhere because currently it's only available on my YouTube channel. It has a great following, but let's be everywhere present that we can be. So we're gonna to go to Apple Music, we're gonna to go to Amazon, we're gonna to go to Tidal, we're gonna to go to Vivo. Vivo probably being the most important because Vivo distribute to other networks as well as the integration with smart TVs. You know where you have a smart TV that has music videos and upcoming music, new releases, that's how that gets there via the Vivo service. We've then got the DistroVid gallery coming soon. So we need to do our artist and band name. We are going to be, and has the music video been previously released? In this case, technically, yes, it has. We go yes, and we need the original release date. I can go over to my DistroKid account and see when the song was released with relative ease. We're gonna upload the video for the song Connect, and that was released on July 7th. 2019. So we can pop that info in here, roll it back to July, roll it back to 2019. Remember when life was normal, warrior sound, language is English, primary genre, we go electronic, and that usually gives us a subgenre in electronic, and then we can choose drum and bass, and then our secondary genre is dance. And song title, nice and simple, it is called Connect. There's no featured artist, but if you had a featured artist, you'd do it the same as you would for your music release just here. And is this a live performance? So is the music video taken from a, like a live performance recording? It's a yes or no thing. Now we need to add our video file. I have popped the connect final final video in there and we can allow that to upload. I would provide the best quality file you can. When I did this at the time, um, it's an HD file, so 1080p. The minimum requirement is 720. Honestly, if you can provide a 4K .mov in, which is gonna be like three or four gig, that's gonna be the best thing. Give it the best possible source material you have. And there's a few restrictions here. No lyric videos, no ads in the video, no still images or promos, no partial songs and no medleys. That means not combining multiple songs into one. Now the thumbnail image, we can choose a shot from the video. I would like to see in the future that we could upload a dedicated thumbnail image but what I'd recommend we do is go and find our video if you're on Mac you can just press space to preview it and let's find ourselves a nice shot so we're about 44 45 seconds there and we're going to use that as our thumbnail so this time it's a video we can add extra credits for who helped produce the video in this case there's an extra person who helped produce it do cinematographer and that is Ben helped edit it as well so let's give him credit there explicit lyrics no explicit lyrics in my case and is this a radio edit? So it doesn't mean a radio edit as in has it been trimmed down, it has it got um, censored words, but no, this was always clean in this case. This one's gonna be critical for your first release. I do not have a Vivo channel. I would love to distribute my future music videos and my past ones 
via Vivo. We need to create an unders Vivo channel. So we're gonna say, no, there is no existing Vivo channel. Channel name will be generated for unders. Now I've got a whole bunch of tracks previously released. So I need to make sure I link up my correct profiles for say Apple Music like described here. I'm gonna show you a way that we can really easily go and find that profile. You can do this on your phone as well. What you do is gonna go and find yourself on the platform with your releases. So I can just search unders and I can go and grab me just there. So as we can see, there are my releases and my most recent release, all is me, we know as well. So what we can then do from here is that these three little dots over here, we've got share and copy link. And it needs to be these three dots that are linked to this profile. And from here, I can pop it in here, and it's my artist ID. And that means my videos will now distribute and show up on my Apple Music channel, which is really nice. So the last thing we've got to do are some disclaimers. I record this music video, I mean, technically I didn't, but I authorized it and whatnot. Um, I'm not using any other artist name, no. I selected Distribute Gallery. I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions because haven't we all? So now we're gonna hit upload and let it do its uploading magic. I'm just gonna interrupt my own video for two seconds. So I've just uploaded the music video for you guys. However, it is 72 hours later. And as we can see on the screen right now, the video has already started appearing. It's now available on Tidal. I expect to see it on Apple Music fairly soon as well, which is fantastic because when you're planning your releases, like I always say, minimum two weeks, ideally a month ahead of time. So that's wicked. So Distrovid is $99 a year and that will let you upload unlimited music videos. If you're regularly putting out music and you put a visual element to it, not a lyric video though, but a visual element to it, you're able to then distribute that as well to these services. And it gives an extra way for people to interact with you and for you to be discovered. And I think it's a really great thing that the gatekeeper for this is now moved to the side. Uh, just that simple fee. As I mentioned before, give it the most high quality file that you possibly can. So 4K is supported in pretty much everywhere at this point. Apple Music, if you're on say your Mac, will stream it in 4K and they do look fantastic. So provide that if you can. And um, by distributing on Vivo, even if like myself, you already have a YouTube presence, it's another way to be discovered, appear on the Vivo playlists, appear in other places that you wouldn't usually have your music shown. It's absolutely so, so valuable. And I'm really excited to see what I can do with the older videos before I push out the new one in October. Now, DistroVid say they'll distribute this out really, really quickly within a day or so, but many of the platforms can take longer to process it and distribute it themselves. If you'd like to learn more about the process of releasing your music with DistroKid, check out this video next where I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to release your track. I'll see you in that one.